this is my mom and baby me, the innocent baby me. My mom is my best friend and the best mom in this planet. And this is my dad, but I don't remember about him because my parents divorced when I was really young. But you know, I still feel a connection when I see him or hear his voice over the phone. And my life has been surrounded by people because I grew up in a large family. Like I have five siblings, my youngest sister is not in this picture. But yeah, I do have one younger sister and two older sisters and the oldest brother. My mom always told me that I was such a shy and a spoiled baby. It's funny to think about it, but yeah, I do feel like I was a, such a spoiled baby because I am almost a youngest. I have spent my almost entire life in Japan. I was so fortunate to live in a, such a wonderful country where it has a very rich culture, safety, people, and amazing food. But my dream was always to go abroad and live there since I was junior high because I was such a huge fan of One Direction. And now I am living my dream where a little old me had dreamed about. I am now turning 25 years old and this is my very first time to spend my birthday without my family or my friends and it feels so different but I feel like I am becoming the person I always dreamed of being the person who living alone, living in Europe, becoming independent and chasing her dreams there was part of me thinking that spending my birthday alone was not that nice but I guess it's the perfect time to reflect on my life like what I have achieved, what I want to achieve or what things I value in my life and what part of me has changed and what I want to focus from now on and things like that Now that I am in my new life chapter, I mean in many ways I want to make the best out of it and live my life for best. Hello, good morning. So today is 22nd of May and it's my birthday today. Oh, I feel so weird. I'm turning 25 years old today. I don't know what to talk. I don't know what I'm gonna do honestly. This is my very first time to spend my birthday alone because last year I was in my hometown and celebrated my birthday with my family and two years ago I celebrated in Tokyo with my sister but I was always celebrating my birthday with someone so I don't know what to do I don't even know whether I should buy a cake for myself I don't know but maybe I should buy the cake anyway and not sing the happy birthday song, just eat the cake. I think this is not only me like feeling so weird whenever it's your birthday. Oh, this is totally unrelevant to my birthday topic, but I got the job, I think. I got job offer. It's not the company that I really hoping to work for. But yeah, I got the job offer from the different company. If I don't get the job offer from the company that I really liked, I'm gonna take this job offer that I got yesterday. And yeah, it's the company that I can do the fully remote working so I don't have to move outside the Netherlands. But if I get the job offer from the company that I really liked, I might have to move to Spain. But I'm not sure because I'm not from EU so I need a work permit visa to be able to work and live in this Spain. Mm, yeah, I don't know. But either way, I got the job offer so I don't have to do the job hunting anymore. You know, remember, I told myself that I can get a job within a month and I did. Because I'm a lucky girl, you know. You are what you thought, okay? And this is the typical idea of manifestation. What I desired is already mine or something like that. I am the luckiest girl or I want to be successful or something like that. You are what you thought. So you have to tell yourself that you can get anything you want. And I can get anything what I want. I feel so weird whenever it's my birthday. 
I don't know. It's just another day for some people, but it's a little bit weird day to me. Uh, 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 uh. My makeup is done. As you can tell, I am wearing the same outfit every single day, so I don't know if it's going to be rain or not. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be rain. Can you check the... But you know, you cannot trust the weather because Netherlands weather is so weird. But anyway, I cannot do anything if I care about the weather in the Netherlands. So. If the weather is not too cold, I'm gonna go to the park and just continue reading this book. I've been enjoying reading this book. And it's so small, so it's easy to carry. Today is such a bad weather, I would say. But you know, it's like gloomy and a little bit cold. That's why I am a wearing jacket. By the way, this is from Mango. Like a lot of ask me on my Instagram DM. I'm gonna head over to the city center. I think I'm just gonna stroll around the city and I need to get out of my house because I've been like scrolling Pinterest or Vinted because I want summer clothes. I just need to go outside and yeah, just to I don't know, I cannot even talk today. So yeah, bye. So I ended up not filming my day that much, but I called my mom and friends most of the time because of the time and differences. But yeah, I just miss them so much. Honestly, I don't feel like I am 25 years old and it doesn't hit me yet, but I hope this year around will be a memorable year. Now that I got my full time job and living alone, I want to set myself a new goal like things I want to do while I am 25, but I haven't decided yet, and that's okay. There are so many places or countries I want to visit, and so many mistakes that I will make, and eventually where I can learn from it, and so many people I haven't met that might be a friend for life, or maybe the love of my life. Life is unknown. I'm so excited about where my life takes me and the new opportunities that I get to experience. Okay, I'm gonna finish off my video here and thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace out!